Hello everyone, welcome back. So today we'll be continuing with our uh, brochure designing. And as we have selected a particular template, we are going to customize this template to suit our need. So if you want to retain all these, uh, I would say, um, uh, layout, for example, this particular color palette, you are free to use it. Or if you want to change it, of course, you are free to uh, make changes, not just to the font, but to the entire template. So now here I'm going to begin by keeping the font, but I'm going to change the words. I'm going to say, you know, world, and I'm going to change the subtitle as well. I'm going to write something like, Now, once that is ready, I have decided I want to change how this particular template looks. So now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the watermark. So all you have to do is click on an element that you do not need and then hit the delete button. There you go. It's as simple as that. And next you can uh, change the color. So for that, I'm going to click on this part of the template. Uh, and the moment I click on it, you can see a small color button pops up right next to the horizontal toolbar. Now, when I click on it, it opens up our color palette. So this is a color palette where you have the document colors. Document colors are basically the colors that the document has used. And then you have a set of, uh, you know, default colors. But if you're not really happy with any of these, you are uh, free to make your own selection so all you have to do is click on the palette and then you can make your you can decide and when you are done all you have to do is come back to your design so now i've decided that uh, i'm going to change the image as well so for that i'm just going to uh, click on the image and immediately you'll see a small box around it which you know tells you that you've made your selection and again i'm going to hit the delete button all right now when it comes to you know inserting or adding um, photos or elements uh, it does not get better than this you have a whole lot of options here in our dashboard so you can see the in our vertical dashboard you have background uh, you have elements photos and uploads but for now, uh, I'm going to just uh, explain the uploads and the photo. Now, when you click on the upload button, a small tab kind of, uh, you know, uh, kind of pops up. Here, what you can do is you can upload an image or a video that you have, uh, you know, uh, which you have in your desktop. So this comes in handy when you have to insert your uh, logo, emblem, or personal photos, or even a video that you have prepared. Next uh, feature is the photos. So here you have millions of photos, and I've already, uh, you know, used or uh, use this keyword environment, and immediately I get a lot of I get results. So here you have a lot of images, and you find that there are certain images that are not free, even if you kind of forget it, forget about it, and you kind of uh, you know drag and drop those images. Immediately, it kind of lets you know that these are uh, premium features. You can see it says remove watermarks. The moment you see this, you, you kind of uh, know that it's a premium feature so, uh, or image, and you kind of delete it. There's no need for you to uh, go for these uh, premium images when there are uh, thousands of other free images. So I'm going to select this image. So now, when it comes to selection of images, there are two ways of inserting an image so you can either simply you know click left click over here and immediately you find the picture you find the image in your template so now you can resize this photo and you can drag it and you can you know uh, put it wherever you want and as i move my cursor as i move the image around you can probably see a lot of uh, 
vertical horizontal lines pink lines so the, these are like intuitive features these are basically auto align features it basically tells you how to you know properly align our images so it's a very helpful feature and if you want to you know use this image not just as a photo here but as a back you know as a background picture what you can do is i'm deleting this what you have to do is you have to drag this image and again move this around move this around till this you know this becomes part of your background so this is kind of uh, tricky you kind of have to work at it yes so now you have to kind of work because you really have to move that particular image till it automatically you know pulls it into your uh, template making it uh, your background image so if it does if it does not work the first or the second time you can you know uh, go back to your image and keep on you know dragging and then you know moving it around uh, it may just take a couple of minutes nothing more than that and once you have made changes you can uh, work on your fonts so there are different ways of uh, using a font there are different types of fonts uh, which i'll be taking in the next class thank you